That looks great. For over a decade, International Community Health Services has provided school-based health care to students who need it the most. Young people newly arrived from all over the world. Newcomers who've become part of the Seattle World School. We were very much in the traditional model of healthcare in this country, seeing your patient for one hour of therapy and coming into the clinic and just to get the medical concern taken care of. But this, I think we realized that this wasn't exactly meeting the needs of our students, that this model didn't really fit um, their needs in the same way and that people weren't actually coming in. Hello, this is Teen Health Centers. How can I help you? In 1980, Seattle Public Schools established the concept of the World School. Like all Seattle Public Schools, the Secondary Bilingual Orientation Center provided site-based health care. Oftentimes students who have just arrived here have not ever had a physical exam, uh, maybe no dental care. So when they arrive here, we try to explain what it is we do here at the clinic. It was clear that more needed to be done to help students who've had little to no health care in their lives. Visionary school nurse Helene Mansfield saw the unmet needs. She recognized that these students needed so much more. Mansfield was determined to change things. Through her hard efforts over two years, ICHS was awarded the contract to deliver enhanced school-based health care in 2011. I was scared because it was a flu shot, but um, I, that's when I met Didi, and um, I started asking questions to Didi about the flu shot because I don't remember getting flu shots back at home, and then she will explain um, everything, like what was important to get a flu shot, that it was the season, and that I had to be protected. Since Didi spoke Spanish, she was able to communicate with my with my mom as well, and that was really important for me. CeeLo Martinez is one of the many students who've come through the Seattle World School and bonded with the health clinic staff. The staff made her feel safe and understood as a first step in serving her health needs. Being culturally sensitive to students is essential to the mission. We, um, we can see the, the students' faces just light up when they when they ask or they hear us respond in their native language, um, they just, like they're, they physically just appear to relax and feel just more, more at ease, safer, that they're gonna be able to communicate what they're trying to say um, without feeling like some things might get um, lost in translation. Over the decade that the ICHS clinic has served students, by far their biggest challenge was dealing with COVID-19. With schools in lockdown, the World School Clinic brought their services to the community. They went into communities to ensure their students kept up their vaccinations and tended to both their physical and emotional needs. In the process, they ended up serving entire communities, providing much needed care. I think these services are so vital and important because it's providing, it's leveling the playing field for these students. These students come here and they are having to play catch up. They need to learn the language, they need to learn the culture, figure out how to navigate the educational system, and any kind of support that we can provide to help that and improve equity for these students is going to so much improve their success. This organization is all about the people, the community. And if we don't support these organizations that help the community, then the community won't be there. ICHS, they bring community together. As we celebrate a decade of partnership and service with the Seattle World School, ICHS would like to thank you for supporting our mission and sharing our belief that healthcare is a human right.